Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about programming languages and the common ones. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what language do you most use when you are programming? TypeScript. That is pretty much uh, all I use these days for practically everything I do. It is the best programming language. I mean, I'm just not supposed to. I'm gonna. Tr I try to be unopinionated about stuff and just relay information, but it's so hard to uh, to not be opinionated about this thing because I simply am correct that this is the world's best programming language at this point. If we just consider like a you know, one of those multi-tool types of things, where if you want to do anything web, TypeScript nothing will is going to be I, I, I know it sounds opinionated but I truly believe that it is objectively the best choice for everything web related and the simple reason being that uh, it is the only language that has like the necessity uh, necess uh, necessary type system in order to actually scale it and at the same time it's also the only language that has the ecosystem, the libraries, have, you can use one language across the entire stack, etc. etc. If you have needs for other things, I mean, shit, if the, it's not like it's the only programming language in the world. I work with a lot of languages. I mean, I'm real, these days I'm a big fan of C Sharp as well because I think that .NET Core is an enormous improvement. I mean, just wow. To me, Microsoft has sort of like made, done a 180. Because they were going down a really bad path, like the corporate let's uh, let's just be big business and so forth, and they just kind of went the other way and realized that hey, this is not working for us anymore, and they sort of opened up everything. And I think they've done an en enormously good job. I would even go as far as to say that, in terms of tooling for software developers, I find it hard. I mean, Google is, uh, of course, for many people, uh, one of like it's the titan of uh, the IT world because they have a lot of really good IT products. But for software developers and like everyone who's doing programming, I think Microsoft is sort of the it is the company at this point. They have their I mean, they bought half the open source world and uh, so forth. But it, it's not just that. I mean, I think that they have really good products for uh, software developers, and TypeScript would be one of my favorites. Uh, and as I said, it, the really the reason is really it comes down to. I mean, you can talk about JavaScript development and so forth. I'm sure uh, there are pros and there are cons, but just the fact that you can actually use one language practically across the whole stack there are so many people who know it I even go as far as to say to most of my co customers and uh, companies that I work for that if you are going to spin up something web doesn't matter what it is I think that you can in many cases think about TypeScript as the next generation of PHP PHP used to be the default for everything because it was such a great back in the day when we were still doing just mostly server side rendered stuff it was and it still is one of those like go-to languages for anybody who's like sort of general purpose uh, web stuff you're not gonna do something very specific with it and you don't really know exactly how things are gonna move in the future I think that TypeScript is the new that because you can trust that every single software developer practically is going to know it because if they're doing web unless they're only backend and never ever touched anything front end I mean even the backend developers are clever enough to feel that's how it used to be by the by it used to be that front end was not something you had a develop uh, had a front end developer for it was something that a backend developer did with like their with one or two read throughs of the jQuery documentation so, I mean, if a backend developer who doesn't really do this stuff can figure it out, you know, this is sort of, I think it's fair to say that most, if not all, software developers has, have, a, have an understanding of uh, how to code in, say, JavaScript. And in this case, it's just TypeScript, which is just another next day, the superset, right? So for me, uh, that is the language I use. I mean, I want to do more coding in other languages, and I have, and I use Rust for a lot of like the lower level stuff or things when I, when it's not really a good fit to use TypeScript. And of course, uh, for personal uh, interest, 
and so forth I have other languages that I've been using but the problem is as I said like usually when I work on something programming related I have the mindset that I want to use the best tool for the job and my problems or like the projects that I work on basically all of them there is no situation where something X outside of TypeScript would be a better choice because everything is subjective everything I mean if you talk to an opinionated rails developer for example everything can be solved with rails uh, PHP everything can be solved with PHP etc etc and of course I'm biased as well do, uh, for, uh, for TypeScript because you sort of you find your own preferences and then that becomes the whole thing there are absolutely things with TypeScript that are not great and things that with the entire way of working in JavaScript that aren't great but it's sort of like I'm almost like one of those good old C programmers who it's like, well, why would you need anything but C or C++? It, they are sort of, they, they have sort of the same community mindset. Why would I have anything else? Because they have taken the, like, they're so good at that programming language that they sort of know all the quirks. They know, it's the same thing with JavaScript. Like, why would you use anything but, uh, apart from JavaScript? Well, if you're a master, or like you're really good at that uh, uh, way of the development, everything is sort of simple. And it's the same thing with TypeScript and so forth, because for a lot of new people who are coming into the JavaScript development uh, community, it's probably a shitstorm, uh, because there's so many choices you don't know, and like so forth and so forth. And I was just lucky that when I started, because I literally started doing this, so like no development and all that stuff, when this started, which means that when I started, there was only like three choices or like one or two choices maybe of everything like I was still using jQuery I was in that perfect sweet spot when we were mo we moved over to doing SPAs and like all that stuff which means that everything was new I've actually I was around like when React was I was doing development with React when we were still using mixins which is like ancient types of days for a lot of people. I mean, there are, of course, people who were there before that then as well, but I hope you understand that at that time, everything was sort of spoon-fed because everybody was, like, the choices weren't so big. And today, I mean, shite. You have so many choices. And that is great for me that know, sort of, like, which choices are good choices and, like, what should to avoid and, like, how to sort of think and, like, you have the experience to do this stuff. So that means that TypeScript becomes the go-to for everything you want to do because, as I said, there's really nothing that I have to gain from using something else when I'm doing web. Any, any other backend language, I need to have JavaScript and an SPA. So now I need two programming languages, unless I'm doing like a server side rendered only sort of thing or something very minor, right? Anything in terms of productivity, I want to like work really, really fast. Well, it's a scripting language with a type system. So I can, <laughs> it's going to be hard for any other programming language to give me more personal productivity whatsoever, unless they have something very special. The only thing I really wish we had was a better overall experience for debugging in uh, in uh, JavaScript land and TypeScript and so forth. We, there, we have, like, few, I use Visual Studio Code, for example, so it's not like it's the worst thing in the world, but I really miss the good old uh, ways when I was working with Java or when you work in something like C Sharp where like the debugging capabilities in Visual Studio and, well, depending on what you're using, I'm assuming mostly are using IntelliJ for uh, for Java, the debuggers there and the language uh, synergy—it's really good. Like it's, it feels really for me natural and easy to work with. I don't have the same sort of love for the debugging in uh, TypeScript and so forth. So that was something that's on my wish list to just have an overall better experience. But from apart from that, I cannot imagine a better default language for practically everything that you want to do. So what I want you to take away from this is that the language that I code the most in is TypeScript. Mostly because everything that I could possibly want to do in the web space, unless I'm doing something very specific, can be done with TypeScript. And it's usually the best choice because in terms of finding new p other people who can help me, like if we're going to hire people or we're, we're going to find some type of libraries or like anything in terms of maturity and accessibility towards like development and so forth is 
the, the, it is the best choice. No discussion. JavaScript is the world's biggest programming language, and, Java, and JavaScript is almost becoming a synonym now. Or like, <laughs> if you are a JavaScript engineer, you're basically expected at this point to know TypeScript. It's taking over all of this, like uh, large-scale JavaScript development. So there's really no cont in my world. There's really no contender. It's becoming a it's becoming an even greater impact on the web than what PHP used to be. And PHP basically, well, it's still sort of one of the biggest web languages, but it used to rule the entire world in terms of web pages and stuff like that. And TypeScript, Node, and like so forth is sort of doing the same thing now. And as I said, it's almost a little bit sad because I would have loved for Rust or other like these sort of more for me languages that I really enjoy working in to have the same sort of capabilities. But as I said, I really, I, if I'm really honest with myself, I sort of have to shoehorn in projects where I can use, where I should use, where it's a good idea to use something else when I'm doing web. So that's why I most commonly program in TypeScript. And I will even go as far as to say it to most companies, if you're going to do any new project or anything in terms of like an ecosystem spin things up or so forth and so forth it's it's difficult because it takes a while to get good at this stuff and it's also difficult to find really talented JavaScript engineers and so forth the community and the maturity of the people doing the development is a little bit behind but the technology like the the technology itself the stack itself that is a very good ecosystem it is a very good uh, foundation to build any almost anything on top of the trick is that you need to find the right people who know how to maneuver all the chaos that is in that uh, community have a great day